This is one of my favorite parts of the week. It's the time when I get to share a tip with you about something that I'm passionate about, and that's people. More specifically, your people. So when you have a disliked management member in your organization, it's complicated. Maybe you've known for a while that that person isn't a strong boss, but you kept him or her on your team because of a particular skill set. Or perhaps you run a family-owned business and the person is a relative. For many reasons, having a bad leader is an issue that can be difficult to address when you first learn about it from your employees. But sometimes the situation rises to a level when you realize you must take action. And the cost of allowing it to continue has become too great. According to a recent Gallup poll, 50% of employees have left a job to get away from a manager at some point in their career. Now that's a lot of people. If you have a leader your employees are unhappy with, damage is being done. The question that you need to figure out is how much? You'll also need to factor in what you might be losing in terms of employee productivity. Try to put a realistic dollar amount on what the situation is costing you in all areas. Then look at the risk reward ratio of keeping this person's position unchanged. Are there reasons you've been keeping this manager in place more valuable than what it costs? If you're like most business leaders, even when a bad manager is costing you greatly, you still have to hope that the person can make improvements and want to extend that opportunity. That's why the first option is to try coaching the disliked manager to be better. This may be the fairest place to start if you haven't intentionally invested in developing this person's leadership skills in the past. But maybe you've already been down that road and the efforts were unsuccessful. So a key to your company's success is making sure that those who are in leadership positions are capable of getting things done with the people they're managing. When you have a bad leader, the cost of not taking action to address this person's behavior is often greater than the discomfort of handling it. So if your employees feel that they've been putting up with a bad manager for a long time and you stepped in to make the necessary changes, it can create an immediate boost to their energy and attitudes. So take advantage of this opportunity to re-energize the rest of your team because they're going to be receptive to you in these moments. Tell your employees that you've heard them and you've addressed their problem. Thank them for their patience and loyalty and if applicable, explain that you're going to spend time getting the right person in this role. So until next time, if you need me, you can find me at the intersection of people, process, and profits. And remember, if you take care of your people, they will take care of you.